we are going to be going through manual sidechain assignment using Putin. So far in this process, we've used experiments like HMCECB and CDCACONH to link the amino acids along the polypeptide chain together, walking along the backbone. For sidechain assignments, we are going to assign each amino acid separately. We are going to use experiments that correlate the carbon and protons within the side chain. Those experiments are 2D H and CHSQC and 3D HCCH toxi. At this point, backbone should be done. So let's get into it. To start, I've opened up my Pokey application and I've loaded in my um, spectra that I need um, for my project. So I've loaded in a project for Ubiquitin. So I have CBCA, CNOH, CCONH, HBHACONH, HCCONH, CHSQC, NHSQC, and HCCH toxi. So in order to start manually assigning the side chain, we have to do some preparation steps. So first, we are going to transfer and simulate assignments to CCONH, HBHACONH, and HCCONH. To do that, we are going to enter the two letter code T A. From here, we are going to enter the spectrum we want to transfer to. So CC, ONH, the type of experiment it is, CC, ONH, and then simulate. We're going to transfer known assignments from previous data from that CBCA, CNOH, and simulate unknown assignments. I'm going to do the same thing for HBHACONH. Okay, and the same thing for HCCONH. HCCONH. In this case, carbon alpha and carbon betas are transferred, but other assignments are simulated. So you can see here we have underscore S, which indicates that this was a simulated assignment. So now that you have transferred and simulated assignments, we can set up our strip plot so that when we load our spectra, it's in the order we want and the spectra we want. So we're gonna open strip plot with the two letter code SP, and we're gonna to go to show, select strip spectra, and we're going to add the spectra that we want to load onto the strip plot in the order that we want. So we're gonna click in the order we want, CBCACNOH, CCONH, HBHACONH, HCCONH, and HCCH toxin. We're going to show the spectrum name under each strip to help not confuse us. Apply. Okay. Perfect. So now that we've done that, it's important to note that um, when we select a peak from our NHSQC to load all of that spectra onto our strip plot, it's going to go from the alphatic carbons of the previous residue to the amide proton residue of the following. So if I do L56 and I add that peak, we're going to see the alphatic carbons of T55 to the amide protons of the 56. So it goes from like the previous to the next. So Let's get into um, our two examples that we're going to be walking through today. We're going to do first uh, glycine um, 35. So now that we're all set up to manually assign, we're going to go to our NHSQC and enter the two letter code LT. This is gonna give us a list format of all the assignments that we can interact with. So in order to uh, manually assign the side chain for glycine 35, we have to select residue 36, so we get that previous residue to next residue relationship. Once we double click, it'll be selected and we can add that peak to our strip plot. From here, um, the CBCA, CNOH, and CCONH are not simulated but transferred assignments. We don't really have anything to do with. So we're going to go to HBHACONH and HCCONH. I'm going to zoom in so we can see these better and see that these are simulated. These answers um, of HA2 and HA3, HA2 and HA3 might make more sense. Look at the 
um, structure and see that the carbon alpha has a side chain of HA2 and HA3. It's a quite simple side chain. So we have those simulated answers, but they're sort of non-distinguishable. But this is um, unimportant because there is enough information for structure calculation without knowing exactly which proton is which. So the convention is to label the lower peak with a higher ppm with HA2. So I'm just gonna kind of drag it a little closer. And I'm gonna do that for both HBHACNOH and HCCOH. From here, I'm then going to select both of these peaks and I'm going to enter the two letter code CU and this centers the peak and untags it. So as you can see, this, these peaks are no longer simulated and they're centered in their peak. You can do the same here, CU. As you can see, no longer simulated and centered. Next, we want to find the peaks in CHSQC. And to do that, we're going to enter the two letter code We're going to make sure our spectrum is the CHSQC, the allophatic, and just place those peaks. From here, we can go to the CHSQC LFT and see that they have been created. So we can click and then the two letter codes in the I to the human. See that these two peaks are at the same carbon chemical shift, which makes sense because the protons are attached to the same carbon. So in this case, as you can see, they aren't simulated. They're um, real assignments, so we can just center it with the two letter code PC for peak center. We'll just do that for both of those. And then the um, side chain for residue um, 35 is complete. So let's move on and do another example with um, alanine 46. So go to NHSQC, LT. We're going to go to the residue after that. So 47, which is a glycine. I'm gonna add the peak, you can see. And then let's take a look at what that structure is. So we can see carbon alpha, with a, um, a HA and then a carbon beta with a three protons, like a methyl group. Perfect. So again, uh, CBCA, CNOH, CCONH, nothing really to do here. So looking at this, we can see um, really close again. So we're just gonna move them closer. Closer, closer, and then um, two letter code CU will center and untag that present that peak CU and CU and CU. Then with CHSQC, we're going to enter the two letter code HC. CHSQC alphatic place peaks. Then we can go back to CHSQC, two letter code LD, LD, and see that they've been added. So I can click. I can see that it's not centered. So PC, two letter code, same thing, PC. And then to show that H, uh, C, CH toxy spectra, if you click on this and just add it here, you can see, and it doesn't appear immediately because of that um, lacking that amide protein from that NHSQC, but you can see that this um, beta proton lines up with the beta and then alpha, if we add it, will line up with the alpha. So that is manually assigning the side manually assigning the side chain using Pokey.